Well, hello everybody. Joseph Green Mountain Gold Traps. Been a minute. <laughs> uh, haven't been doing too much river stuff lately, but today, um, before before I tell you what we're gonna do, there's Wayne. So Wayne and I, we see a lot of people just hammering their friggin' sluice boxes. I mean, like taking a whole shovel full and just plopping it right on there. So Wayne's got a little technique he's gonna show you, and uh, then we'll probably, I don't know. I've been just collecting concentrates, so not going to be a whole lot of gold showing today, but in the near future, sometime this winter, as many of you know, I do run my concentrates at home, and I'm telling you what, I've got a bucket just like that one right there at the house that is loaded with gold. So, um, yeah, I'll be showing you that at some point. So give us a minute, and we'll show you this little technique back in a bit. thing is nice all right so here we are first thing I want to point out and I wasn't even going to talk about this but you notice how classifiers they've got these ribs on the bottom so your gold can get trapped on top of those so I always make sure that I get the gold off from those things just in case so, like I said, we're in a spot where we're dealing with a lot of flower gold. So, one thing I saw some miners doing, they were, I don't know where the heck this was, but a lot of people, when they pan, they're going like this. Well, with flower gold, you're better off just pouring it off like that. But you'll notice after a while that you'll see a lot of black sand. I mean, it just stays in there. Some of it's pouring out, but the gold isn't. Don't forget, we're giving a pan away, too. Yep, that's right. Oh, and by the way, Wayne said I should mention this. It is November 5th, folks. Look at us. We're in t-shirts. <laughs> it's like 70 or more out here today. It's amazing. And we are loving it. All kinds of gold mining supplies on 105 Main Street, Pulteney. That's right. Railroad toy and hobby. We got everything. Sluice boxes, pans, vials, sluices. Yep. Information. And good information, too. Yep. And old, old toys. They have collectible toys. Comic books, train sets, uh, uh, RV cars, or what do they call those, slot cars. and All kinds of goodies old, there. Old, old, old matchbox type car. They're not matchbox, they're old, old stuff. I mean, collectibles. It's, it's a cool store all around. So, now we're down to it. See all the black sand starting to show up in the pan. The blonde sand is on top. Watch how all the blonde sand goes to the back. Yep, and I don't, I don't bother keeping that. Of course. But I will be keeping all of this. Because like I said, we're dealing with flower gold here, but a fairly good amount of it. Probably, I think what I'll do is I'll get my phone and have Wayne switch out to my phone because that doesn't like to focus too much. So there's the pan. We'll start with these three little humps right there so you know I didn't add any gold to it. Back to you in a sec. Alright. Same three little humps. Has a move. Alright, let's get back to this. 
see how many pieces of gold we get. My best pan down here, folks. Uh, we've been working down here for a few years now. Hung and I kind of discovered, well, I shouldn't say we discovered it, but Wayne's been down here before, but he worked up farther with an older gentleman by the name of Gene. I wished I could have met that man. I see two pieces already. But Hung and I came down here not knowing that Wayne and Gene had been down here years before. And not too many people like working this area because they just, they don't know what they're doing. But we know the code. But my best pan, believe it or not, was over 80 pieces in one pan. You had a witness, I was here. Yep. And Hung saw it too. Yeah, it was crazy. Of course, it, and it's not going to be that way with this pan because it's kind of fizzling out. We've, we've worked it pretty hard. <laughs> Yeah, remember, supposedly you find nuggets here in uh, Vermont. Well, you also can find flower gold when you find an abundance of it. It's just as much fun and and uh, collectible as a nugget. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'll take all your small gold. Tell me where it is. I'll come get it. Yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. Sure. Not a problem. Now he's getting away down. See now how it starts to look like a half moon? That's where you want to be. And notice how he's back washing it. He's going back, sloshing it back and forth. And notice how all the black sands, the lighter black sands, start coming down the pan. That's that's what you have to do. This is proper panning. And I also give it a little shake, a little wiggle. I don't know if you guys can see that when I'm doing it. Almost like what I do when I hit the rock. Yeah. Kind of helps things move. And it's stratifying it at the same time, so you're not you're not losing anything. And I'm not losing anything anyway. I mean, if any small pieces are going down here, it's going right in my little super concentrate bu bucket anyway. So I'm up a little higher. We keep bending down. See if we can get right in there. I can see some already. Way up to the top up there. Right there. And there's more over there too. And then you gotta get all the pan. A bunch of pieces in there. Small. But they're there. So that's the little techniques for the day we share with you. Don't know how many are in there, but I'm not too concerned with that right now. I'm just collecting super cons. All right, back in a little bit. He always said to make your work area comfortable. So what we did is we took a big flat rock here and we got a flat rock there and we were able to put our sluice right into this area. So what we're gonna do, kneel down. Notice how you're not stooped over and hurting your back. This is a pan that Joe's gonna give away at the end of the show. It's a two-sided pan. You've got your riffles on this side for the rough big stuff. You got your finish pan on this side. You get a little water out of it. 
okay? This comes in handy when you're out here. Another thing that he taught, uh, Gene taught me, was to put the pin underwater and hit that rock, okay? See the action that's going on in here, right in the center? That's stratifying, just like Joe was doing, okay? Put your hand in there, move it around a little bit. Get it so it's liquidy. And when that happens, the gravity will pull that gold right down. Because on the Moen scale, it's 19.5 times heavier than any other metal. So this is my technique. I dump it right into a sluice box. Nice and easy. Get your blonde sand off. See how it's all going right down the tray. And I'm going to show you guys the right way and the wrong way for a sluice box. It's everybody's opinion. Everybody has their own technique. But as you can see, there's no clogs here. I'm going to show you the wrong way. That is the wrong way. You have just filled up the whole tray and all your light flower gold that we're dealing with today will just fly right out the end of that. It'll be gone. That is the absolute wrong way to do it. Not only that, look at this here. Big rocks show up. That is just the absolute wrong way to do it. So the technique that I'm doing, look at all the black sands building up right here. Right up along this rib right here, okay? Here we go, same thing. Put a little liquid in it. Dump it right out into your sluice box. Use your sluice box as a tool. You get a little extra on there, just hold tight, let it drain off. Now you're gonna catch everything that you miss. And as you can see, as you start getting the blonde sand gone, the color will change. You'll get more black. And that's the black sands, that's the magnetite that we're looking for. We're, we're on, or just near a volcanic intrusion, and we are missing our other mining buddy, Jeffrey Slade. We miss you, man. Yeah, Jeff. <laughs> uh, Jeff knows exactly where we are. And when you have volcanics, you have gold. We'll pan this down and we'll show you it a little later. Yep. Some of it went in the sluice as he was working that, but there's a few in there. There. No, maybe I'll. All right, so we are packed up and we are out of here. As you can see, Wayne's got all his stuff. Concentrates. I've already got everything in my bag, but when I get home, I'll dump out the gold that I got for the day and I'll give you a look at that and. Uh, we're going to call it quits, so don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll explain the whole pan giveaway when I get back and show you the gold, I guess. We'll talk to you in a bit. Back at the shop. Right, we are back at the shop, and as you can see, I've been in production. Three uh, rutabed hogs there, almost, well, about halfway done. I got pay streak finder there, another pay streak finder there. That one's close to being done. And let's see, there's one that's done over here where the gold pan is, and the gold's in it. That one's done, I just have to set the pin in it. It's hiding behind the gold pan. And then I've got two more pay streak finders over here that i got to finish up. And, uh, oh yeah, been busy. I love what I do. Wintertime, I work seven days a week, and I'm down here for hours. And I absolutely enjoy what I do. So this is the concentrate, oh, low battery mode, are you serious? I hope that didn't just glitch. All right, so this is the concentrates from the last three times that we've been to the river, and it's uh, 
turn this on real quick. It is four pounds, 6.6 6 ounces of straight black sand for the most part. There's there's a little tiny bit of blondes in there, but and there is a fairly substantial amount of gold in that, of course. But this is what I was telling you about. This this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's even on the top, folks. <laughs> there is gold all throughout that black sand. And that of course there's water in there too. Four pounds, two point six ounces. I what I do is I I bring my concentrates home and I save them for quite a while. And then after I get quite a few, I'll run them through the Krieger sluice, break them down to super cons, put them in a bucket all throughout the year. So, and you don't get very many concentrates when you run the Krieger. And of course I run my material two or three times. And then of course I've still got all the black sand stored away over there in that white bucket. Um, so yeah, that's your, that's your super cons for the entire year. So it's really condensed down. That's gonna be interesting. So here is the gold from today, except for the biggest piece in the pan. That one I got somewhere else. And the biggest piece, of course, is right there in the middle of the screen. But what I did, this isn't all the gold from today. I just snuffed up, you know, some of the bigger pieces that you could, so that you guys could get a look at, uh, get a look at some of the gold. Everybody likes to see the gold. So there's that, a little bit of gold porn. But anyway, so the pan from Railroad Toy and Hobby. And I'd really like it if you guys would go and check them out. They're on Facebook, Railroad Toy and Hobby, 105 Main Street, Pulteney, Vermont. The hours are inaccurate. They always change. I hope I didn't just cover up the speaker. Um, yesterday, of course, today's Saturday. Yesterday, Wayne and I were working, and I know his wife had the store open, so... Their, their hours vary. Um, but anyway, go check out the store. Christmas is coming. They are going to be offering to ship this year. So you find something you like in there. You know, it's, they got a lot of stuff. I mean, they even have um, video games, old video games. They got newer video games, probably game consoles. You name it. They, they've, got, they've got all kinds of stuff. Trust me. That store, it's not very big, but it's got a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> you can spend, I don't know, you spend a good uh, two hours looking around, and there's a lot there. There's a lot there. A lot of collectibles. So go and check them out. And uh, for the pan that he is offering to sponsor to give away on the channel, um, what we'll do is when the video gets, say, 300 views, I'll do another... I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the drawing, and we'll pick a name. What, what I'd like you to do is like, subscribe if you're not subscribed, comment, and share if you would, please. If you're on Facebook or wherever, please share the video. Um, that's one of the reasons why I don't bother shooting videos anymore is because, I mean, it just, what, what good does it do me? Um, you know, I mean, I, I do need to still get out and show show the gold traps in action and stuff like that, which I will do, but I just, I don't know, haul all the equipment in and so on and so forth. It's just, uh, I don't know, people just don't, they don't, they don't watch the videos very much. So anyway, um, yeah, say something about the pan. I don't care what you say. Um, my frying pan got uh, destroyed yesterday. <laughs> whatever, whatever you want to say, something, something about a pan and uh, we'll draw a name and we'll see what happens so good luck to everybody and we'll catch you on the next one green mountain gold trap is gonna do a little bit of work down here for the rest of the evening because that's what i like doing take care everybody <laughs>